Hey guys, I'm Molly from Everyday Gymnastics and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be extending a video that I did about a year ago. It was called Guide to Jumps, Tips and Techniques. So I'm going to be doing the same thing, Guide to Jumps, except it is on Bounce Beam. So I'll be explaining many different kinds of jumps, I'll be telling you the values of them, and then drills, tips, and techniques that I know of that will help improve your jumps on beam. So it's kind of like a tutorial video, but we're gonna be covering a lot of ground. So I hope this helps you guys. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. And now let's get into the video. Before getting into anything at all, we have to stretch. Stretch out like you normally would, but it can be the short version. Roll out your ankles, stretch your lunges and splits, and then you can do seal stretch and a bridge for your back. I'm going to start off the tutorial by showing you a bunch of common jumps there are on beam and I'll let you know the difficulty level as well, A being the easiest and then I only go up to a C in this video but there are way more letters of difficulty. But now let's just start with a few A jumps. First of all here are the straight jump and tuck jump, pretty basic. This is the flutter jump, also known as a beat jump. And to practice the motion of this, you can do hollow flutters, just like how you do for conditioning. Next up is the wolf jump, one of my favorites. Make sure your leg is not just bent and hanging down. It should be pressed up and your heel should be touching your butt. The last A jump I have is the Sassone, also one of my favorites. My quick tip for this is about the arms. Your opposite arm of your leg should be in front and the other one is out to the side. Then try to finish with one leg up in a scale. Now we're moving on to the B rated jumps. First is a split jump, then is the pike jump which is just a wolf jump with both legs straight. A straddle jump can be a bit tricky on beam but it's still good. And here are some turning jumps coming for you. The split quarter is not too difficult and same with the tuck half. The straight three quarter is cool as well. Just stay tight and you should be totally fine. Next up are the C jumps. I only show here the split half and tuck three quarter. Something that's important to know about beam is your feet shouldn't be exactly together like on floor. They should be slightly apart so you can keep almost your whole foot on the beam. Practice your jumps on the floor and then you can move to a very low beam or a floor beam. This is good to practice brand new jumps and jump combos as well as turning jumps especially. Something worth mentioning about the half turning jumps is that some people like to do them facing frontwards while others do it facing sideways. It is a complete personal preference so make sure you try out both. Lastly for the three quarter turning jumps, make sure to spot one side of the beam during your jump and also on the landing so you can stay centered and steady. Here's another view so you can see how my feet grip the beam on a turning jump. Then you should be ready for the real beam. Obviously you'd have to compete on a high beam and go there eventually, but I only have a low beam at home. So practice your jumps and combos and then routines on the beam. In case you were curious, I looked up the jumps in each level. So for levels 1 and 2 there's a straight jump in the routine. Level 3 has two straight jumps connected. In level 4 it's a split jump to a straight jump. And lastly level 5 is a split jump to a sassone. Then you get into the optional levels. So for example you can do things such as a split jump flutter jump or a harder combo of a split jump to a tuck three quarter. Here's another demonstration of why your feet should be staggered on the beam. If one foot misses, you can easily catch yourself, whereas in the feet together clip, both of them can slip off since there's not enough room for both your feet on the beam. Now we're at the part of the video where I give you all my tips and tricks for good technique in beam jumps, and it really all happens on the floor. You have to work on your basics if you want good jumps on the beam. 
So the first thing I'd suggest is building leg strength and flexibility through kicks on the ground. I usually do 10 front kicks on each leg, 10 sideways, 10 backwards, 10 straddles, and then you will see in a moment, three to five of these around the world kicks. Then of course, stretching and practicing the jump positions on the ground helps a lot. This tip would work for a split, straddle, pike, and wolf jump. Then to make the stretching even harder, do some over stretching. So set up a panel mat or a raised surface and put your feet up there to stretch it out. Next up is building straight up leg strength so you can have very explosive and high jumps. Here's an exercise for your hip flexors, especially important in straddle jumps. Also, you can do the kicks like we did on the ground, except while standing up. Try to do 10 of each, but in the video I just did five so that it would be faster. My last tip is to do panel mat jumping. Practice your different jumps both up onto and then off of the panel mat or raised surface. Again, just to work on height and leg power. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want more guides like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I can literally do anything. Guide to leaps, guide to turns, guide to dismounts on beam, guide to dismounts on bars. Anything you want, comment below and I'll try to get to that video. Also, like I said before, make sure to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye, guys.